Less than 8% of people actually keep their New Year's resolutions. Here are the exact tips on how to achieve your goals and change your life. The first concept I'm giving you is like a new mindset, sort of. It's that change does not equal perfection. I feel like the first mistake many people make when writing New Year's resolutions is that they have to plan out their ideal life. I have to accomplish all these re resolutions in order to be my best blank, to be that blank. And it only leads to dissatisfaction to put yourself at that standard. I really feel like you will benefit better if you think more about the mindset go through what you go through and that's actually on my calendar here i love this saying it just reminds me that it's like a compounding journey that we're going through and not like a everything has to be perfect kind of journey you know because life isn't perfect and it's never going to be so why set those standards standard stand standards in the first place that's really really silly to set those kind of standards for yourself instead don't like focus so much on perfection when you're writing your new year's resolutions or goals or whatever think about being thankful what are you thankful for and what would you like to improve and be thankful for the present moment you're in in the present moments you're going to be in yeah and that will actually help you make new year's resolutions and not tear yourself down tip two like if you don't have a system like your life is gonna crash so i personally like to organize my systems by using a planner i think that planners and like calendars are really helpful in your life and if you don't have a calendar like it's so easy to get a calendar if you prefer you can like get a digital calendar you can get like google meet or not me what am i saying you can get like the google calendar or like the apple calendar or something like that and that will like really help you i also know like of platforms like notion are really supposed to help you with productivity and just keeping like your systems like in check but i personally like to use this little handy dandy thing and it just has like if you want like an in-depth tour make sure to let me know and i will do a whole separate video on that yeah get yourself a calendar if you don't apply any of these tips, apply that one because the calendar will save you. So what I was trying to say in this clip didn't really make much sense, so I'm doing a voiceover. What I was trying to say was that you have to have a root reason to your goal. Take a goal like waking up early. What is your root reason behind this goal? It might seem like your root reason is, oh, so I have more time to do the things I want to do. But you have to actually keep asking yourself why. That is not the root reason. You have to get down deeper. I want more free time so I can do blank, so I can exercise. So then you know that your root reason to waking up early is so that you can exercise. This really differs for everybody, so it's your own personal quest. But once you find the root reason, it will change your life. Next thing that I forgot to mention was the when. Now that you have your goal and the root reason to why you want your goal, you have to make sure that you put it into your schedule. We already talked about planners, but when you, I mean put it into your schedule, I just mean like being very specific about it. So say your goal is to work out every day. Don't just say work out on Tuesday. Instead, set an exact time. Say work out 6 a.m. in the morning. I mean, I'm not really a 6 a.m. person, but if that's what you gotta do, put it into your schedule. Put it there so you can physically see it. Many people don't know what goals they want. I honestly don't know what goals I want. Center your goals around what you love and what you do because then you'll be more likely to achieve them if there are things that you actually genuinely enjoy doing. You don't just wanna achieve something and be like, oh my gosh, I hated that journey. Well, then you wasted a lot of time you want to have fun actually achieving the things you're doing and I really feel like that's what New Year's resolutions is all about there's a quote by Albert Einstein that says a person who never made a mistake never tried anything new and that is so right if you never make a mistake then you're not learning New Year's resolutions is truly about making new experiences and having fun along the way so if you're not having fun, if you're not experiencing and trying new things, then you're never going to accomplish your goals. Hey there, voiceover Naomi again. I just wanted to add on to what I was saying about trying new things. These past few years, I've really seen how life can take different turns. 
But what has encouraged me is the Bible verse, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future. I went into 2021 with many goals and aspirations that I failed. But I came out of 2021 with life-changing experiences that I am so very thankful for. Take this YouTube channel, for example. I didn't think that it would get me anywhere. I started filming hey like guys, back in March and I hey never guys. thought I would be here, honestly. It would take me an hour to film an intro, but I'm here. The Lord has definitely directed my steps. Today for what? I'm starting my YouTube channel. And I am so thankful for that achievement. The most so I encourage you to look back into your year and remember that the true meaning of achieving your goals isn't about crossing off New Year's resolutions. It's about trying, making mistakes, and above all, making new experiences. That's what I want to leave you with today, and I really hope that you can take some of these tips um, and maybe apply at least one of them so you, they help you. I promise you these tips are really foundational and they help me. And if they help you, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe. I feel like I don't say that as much as I, I don't know. You can subscribe if you want to um, because this is going to be an awesome year with awesome content. I'm telling you, I have so many good videos and you don't really want this. Bye. Thanks for watching.